2003 is when I started really having my breathing problem. And then, like, February 2004 was when I ended up one night couldn't breathe and went to the hospital in Hagerstown, Maryland, where they diagnosed me with COPD. And kind of, they call it a severe stage of it. I recuperated, continued to work then for till summer of last year, pretty much. And how did you end up here at the University of Maryland? What made you come here? Uh, it was getting hard to breathe and hard to walk around, and I thought my only chance is to come down here and get on the list for a lung transplant. So I came down and went through the series of tests that you need to do to get on the list, got on the list, and then a month ago, I got, I guess my blood got so dirty and I had problems and I had a lung infection and I came here and, and this is where I ended up. So tell me what the, you think of this new revised ECMO and what you think of care you've received here so far. All of it's been really great and this ECMO machine, like I say, if I would not be able to exercise and get my strength up, which this machine is what allows me to do that, I probably would not be a candidate for a lung transplant. I would be too weak. So what type of exercise have you been doing? Walking, uh, going to the gym, treadmill, some arm exercises, and I like walking around through the hallways just to get the scenery. So I imagine you feel a lot better now, of course. Oh, yeah. A lot better. how you feel. Yeah, yeah, a lot better. And what do you think of Dr. Griffith and the staff? They're, they're all great. I'd like to, within the next couple of days, be able to kind of walk free without the walker. But I can kind of do it now for six, eight feet. You know, it's kind of nice to have the support. I'm still that weak, you know. It's good. It takes a lot of exercise. Well, thank you so much for... You're welcome.